herzlich willkommen hier in Dortmund. Welcome to ThyssenKrupp Steel here in Dortmund. I'm standing next to our new hot dip galvanizing line number 10. This facility supplements our existing suite of hot dip galvanizing or so-called FBA lines. And now we've installed a modern line that enables us to keep up with our customers' most exacting quality requirements. But we can do even more than produce to the highest quality standard. We've also been able to open the door to energy savings, allowing us to manufacture a product, or in the future products, with a low carbon footprint. We've also been able to take the latest requirements for operational safety technology into account, which is very important for our employees. From here, you can see the dimensions of the new hot dip galvanizing line. It's around 350 meters long and 65 meters tall. For those of you from this region, that's the height of the Dortmund U-Tower. On the new line, we produce around 550,000 metric tons of high-quality, hot-dip galvanized steel per year. Taken together with hot-dip galvanizing line number 8, we produce almost 1 million metric tons of hot-dip galvanized steel every year here in Dortmund. We're able to offer almost all strength classes on this line with a wide range of grades. I've arranged to meet Clemens Trachtanach. He's the team leader of FBA number 10, and he's by far the best person to introduce you to the various stations and the quality features that have been implemented. Nice to see you, Heike. Great to see you too, Clemens. Thanks for taking the time today to show us around the line and tell us about the highlights. Gladly. Let's follow the coils as they move along the line. Good idea. Well, here we are in the entry zone. This is where the coils are threaded into the line. What's special for the customer is how wide the line is. We can now produce zinc magnesium coatings with a width of 1,850 millimeters, something we haven't been able to do before. We're meeting the demand for ever larger cars, which equates to ever wider coils. When I think of the large component dimensions, what comes to mind are the side panels of vehicles, and the wide coils also offer economic advantages because they allow double parts or doors and double width to be produced. Exactly. So let's go take a look at the laser welding. Here is our state-of-the-art laser welding machine. We are creating an endless strip here, something we also need for the downstream process. The advantage of this for our customers is that the laser weld makes overlapping material a thing of the past. This automatically adds up to fewer rejects in the stamping shop. You're right, because we can produce standard coils with the same weight every time, so that our customers can plan more effectively and process the batches that we supply them more efficiently. This is where the steel strip first disappears from view. Correct. This is where the strip is cleaned thoroughly and prepared optimally for the subsequent process steps, annealing and coating in particular. Please tell us what's special about the cleaning system. Well, we've really gone to town when it comes to sustainability at this stage in the process already. For one thing, we use the waste heat from our furnace to heat the cleaning media. We use the waste water from the rinsing zones at the back for the treatment of the front cleaning zones. Meanwhile, even the steam that condenses here remains in the process cycle because we feed it back in. So we're actually not only doing ourselves a favor, but also assisting the automotive industry to achieve its sustainability goals. Sustainability, alongside the key factor of energy efficiency, is of crucial importance for the largest component in our line, the annealing furnace, 27 meters tall and 75 meters in length. It's where we establish the microstructure of our coils and thus also define the strength required by the customer. The grades produced on FBA 10 range from super mild deep drawing steels to higher strength multi-phase steels. 
Basically, this means we can manufacture the entire range of products, from automotive outer panels to crash-relevant structures. Precisely. And for outer panels that have to meet the most demanding visual requirements, there's also the option of producing our tried and tested Primetex product here. Clements, you mentioned the topics of sustainability and energy efficiency. How are these manifested in specific terms? Well, we're using regenerative radiant tube burners in the furnace. With them, we can put the waste heat from the combustion process to use for preheating the combustion air. That means we can utilize the energy consumed here highly efficiently and intensively. This will also keep us well below the emission limits for many, many years to come. Once there's a pipeline network in place for a reliable supply of hydrogen, we'll also be able to convert this furnace to run on hydrogen. It goes without saying that this is a fairly cost-intensive investment, but it's also a worthwhile one, since every investment in saving energy helps to reduce CO2 emissions. And of course, that's not only an advantage for us, but also for our customers. Now the steel is ready for the zinc or zinc magnesium coating. We're now at the heart of the line, so to speak. Exactly, so we've got an interchangeable pot system here. Currently, the zinc pot is in the line and the steel strip is now passing through. The surplus zinc is then removed by the air knife. It's literally blown away. Basically, you can think of it like the end of a car wash where there's a blower unit. That's what's making all the noise that you can hear in the area right now. But we then achieve a zinc layer that is precisely defined and uniformly thick across the entire strip width and along the full coil length. And to make this even better, we've integrated strip stabilization into the air knife system. This means we secure the strip electromagnetically, reduce the vibration, and so create a coating that's yet more even and effective. Those automotive stamping shops will certainly be happy to hear that. A flawless surface along the full strip length. A special feature is the interchangeable pot system, which allows two batches of molten metal. We can use the classic molten zinc bath, or we can also use a zinc magnesium batch for our ZM EcoProtect product. And this provides excellent corrosion protection, despite the very thin coating. This is a common theme for the entirety of FBA 10. We treat the steel for the industry to achieve the greatest possible weight savings to meet the desired requirements, the best strength, formability, corrosion protection, and also paintability. You've heard of form follows function, but we built the FBA 10 according to the principle of function follows application. The same goes for the skin pass mill. This is where we achieve the final surface in terms of roughness, peak count, and also a long wave structure. And for prime text quality, by which I mean customer requirements for an extremely high quality paint appearance, we also use special skin pass rollers. And after this processing step, the coil is almost finished. Right, but only almost. That's why the steel strip is also passed through the oiling machine, in which an oil film is applied electrostatically. This is primarily for corrosion protection and to prevent damage in transit, as the coil should ultimately reach the customer in tip-top condition. And in terms of sustainability, I'd like to emphasize that we can also apply pre-lubes of the second generation with our FBA 10. Can you explain this to our customers? What exactly is a pre-lube of the second generation? With pleasure. Pre-lubes are not only used for corrosion protection, but also as forming oil in the customer's stamping shop. Second generation pre-lubes contain more wax, so they are firmer and more viscous. This means very elaborate parts can be stamped even though less oil is applied, which is good for the environment and ultimately improves performance in the stamping shop. When it comes to performance, I'm also thinking in particular about our colleagues who operate the line, monitor the technology, and then actually intervene when things get serious. Yes, I'm glad you brought that up. The importance of the role played by our colleagues becomes particularly clear at the inspection stand. 
Here we can check the strip horizontally and vertically before it's coiled and dispatched. Our experts here at the inspection stand are responsible for checking the strip quality. As you would expect, they use the latest process and product measurement technology. But having a trained eye is also important. So, despite all the fascinating technology, the skills of our colleagues are still in demand. The roughness levels, other skin pass characteristics, and the entire surface quality are also checked here by visual inspection. The production process is then also checked at all other control stations, such as here at the final acceptance. We intervene immediately if adjustments need to be made. All I can say is that I'm really proud of my team and you can rely on them 100%. Many thanks, Clemens, for this really impressive tour. Here we can see some of the 24,000 coils that we can now hot dip galvanize every year with this new line. How do you feel when the finished product leaves the warehouse here? Well, it gives me a good feeling to know that we've delivered a top quality product that meets the exacting requirements of the automotive industry. And that simply makes everyone who worked on it proud. After what I've seen here today, that's something you really can be proud of.